Hello Bloggineers, today we're going to unbox and review Scarlet Envelope, which is an escape room type game. We have three separate envelopes. This says SE1, so Scarlet Envelope 1, Scarlet Envelope 2, and Scarlet Envelope 3. Today we're just going to show you the first envelope, mm -hmm. and let's open it right now. And here we go. Okay, it's all in this plastic wrapping. Hmm. Oh, so this red card says, We've been watching you closely. This collection of unconnected items is your chance. Make sense of it and join us. We are waiting. That sounds ominous. Okay, here's a, a whoa, card. it's a ripped up museum ticket. It's ripped up. That's <laughs> extraordinary weekly newspaper. Extraordinary. Yeah, right. It's here's, here's a piece of torn paper. There's so many torn things. Oh, this one has numbers on the back of it. And a big paragraph on the front. There's a note about Emily Miller. Whoever that is. How to read the QR, the code. QR code. So there might be some QR codes in this game. Okay. Oh, it's like this. Oh, I think it... What's this? It's a poster. A poster or advertisement for a performance? Wait, wait, wait. I need a... Oh, I didn't remember that. Spaceship repair and parts for sale. Oh, here's a QR code. Oh, and there's a map for the last thing. A little map. Pretty little. Oh, cool. This is a... Train map. Hey, Cameron. He was a and that's it for envelope number one. There's not too many pieces, but they're all ra about random topics. So I wonder how these will all go together. We're going to do a live stream and come back with your final thought. And we're back. We played the first Scarlet Envelope. My favorite puzzle in this escape room game was probably, oh, I, actually I cannot mention it because that will give it away, but there was one that required you to destroy something and it was a really clever puzzle, but luckily we were able to manage to solve the puzzle without having to destroy it. So that was pretty good. Brother, what was your favorite puzzle? My favorite puzzle was the origami. Yeah, there was one that was about origami, and we kind of did it wrong, so so we messed up the origami, but then we managed to get back on track, and it was all good, and it was fun to fold it to get a certain answer. Another thing I want to mention is that this escape room feels authentic because they don't just tell you the instructions on what to do straight away. In a lot of the escape rooms that we play, they give like straightforward instructions, like you have to go here first and do this. but. This is more like detective work, like in the real in-person escape rooms we do, because we have to figure out what to do. And actually in the beginning, we were pretty confused, but we managed to figure out like what we needed to do first without having to get a hint. And speaking of hints, we were also struggling at the beginning of the game because we couldn't find the hint system. And we looked all over and there was, we couldn't find anything that told us where to get a hint. However, we, there, there was, okay, you have to look at every single piece of thing that comes in here because on one of the sheets of paper, the website for the hint was written on it and it was so big, but somehow we missed it for like the first 20 minutes. 
So yeah, whenever you're playing any escape room, including this one, you have to make sure to look through everything before you start or before you go really into the game. And finally, we have three envelopes, but there's even more. There's I think like 12 or something, or even 13. And we only play the first one this time, which is the only envelope that that doesn't really have a storyline. So we will be playing the other envelopes in the future, such as two and three, and maybe even some more, because those will have a storyline, so it will be even more interesting. If this looks interesting to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Bye!